great pass from him. Vega. Agat. Better trying to take it over. Larson. And sort of twisting and turning. Good intervention though. And Neil Lennon is forced to kick it back to Dougal. Here's Duncan George. A foul by Billy McDonald, who was involved in a famous spat with Paul Gascoigne when he was playing for Partick Thistle a few years ago. Got sent off for kicking out at Gaza. After he nutmegged him, I think. Too surprisingly, it's generally gone Celtic's way so far. And oh, it drops for Henrik Larsson, but he didn't catch it clearly as he looks at the ground. He had a bit of time and a bit of space, so Ian. Normally, you'd expect Henrik Larsson to do better in this situation. Not picked up at all there. And he just didn't get it cleanly at all. But Celtic have started the game well, and there you see it by far the more dominant of the two sides, and Martin O'Neill will be well pleased at that, because he certainly told me before the winter break he was slightly concerned as to whether Celtic would go back up to speed quickly. This is Paul Blair. And he's got the throw. Blair actually played for Morton against Celtic in the Scottish Cup a few years ago. And now he's got a corner. And this could be interesting because the big boys will come up from the back and attempt to put some pressure on Robert Douglas. Yeah, I think they have to make the most of set pieces in. I don't think they're going to have too many chances in open play. But a chance they have, or this kind of chance, to throw a decent ball in under the crossbar, send the big lads up at the back. You never know, they might just get the payoff. Well, this really is their best hope. It's drifted away and retrieved by Walker. He lets it go for the throw. I don't think they'll be averse to the odd long throw or two either. Marks takes it, as he did the corner. McDonald. Right. Keith Knox. Well, that was a poor effort, but the flag was up anyway. Good season in the league for Billy McLaren, who's quite a character. He was actually banned from the touchline earlier in the season after comments made <laughs> last season to a linesman. He's, uh, he's a bit like that. Oh, he's fierce competitor, and he really was, certainly. You knew all about it when you played against Billy, and I think uh, you know the character of his side will reflect uh, his own playing style. but Celtic have scored 18 goals in their last four games without conceding any. Ramon Vega. Shout from the keeper. He was player of the year last season. His kick out will uh, come back towards him, but we flag up cross side against Larson. Well, I don't know if the assistant's in a position to call this one in, to be honest with you. Larson just spins there, he certainly was in an off offside position as the, the ball was played forward, trying to get back on. Paul Walker, well, the Hodge and Walker got in each other's way a little bit then, and exchanging a few words too. Yeah, he sees Didi Agat there back in his own byline. What a good defensive shift Agat has done for Celtic this season. It was a lovely touch, by the way, when Stranraer handed their uh, team sheet in. So that Celtic had a look, they'd uh, 
put their home addresses next to all their names, just in case Celtic <laughs> wanted to uh, get in touch and sign them. Tom Boyd won the chase for that and won the throw as well. No club has won the Scottish Cup more than Celtic, but six years have passed since their last success. They probably feel the time has come to get their hands on this particular piece of silverware again. Balharan. Petter waiting nearby in the shadows. Lennon. Boyd. Won't be straight down Sandy Hodges' throat. But here's Ramon Vega. Oh, Vega was caught a little late then by Ian Harty. To be fair to him, he got up and got on with it. Harty now. Oh, he's put Paul Walker away. What a chance for Walker. He's still in there. Oh, but it's saved by Robert Douglas. Uh, good break by Sunrad there. Volharan does well here. Tucks round the back. Look at Volharan, left back position. Gets himself right across there and does just enough there to hold the little fella up, otherwise Celtic were in trouble. Well, it nearly came to a gat, but Sandy Hodge did enough. 20-year-old student on a bit of a burst now, but he's rolled it out of play. Paul Walker, a huge Celtic fan and glory was beckoning for him then McNamara Larson Hodge stopping the supply line to a gat here's Billy McDonald took it down well Jenkins has to snap it back George, that's uh, well, straight out from Duncan George, who's one of their more experienced players. 33 now, owns his own bike shop. Lennon. Vega. Sensation with Hibbs, of course, to the Agat, having spent some time with Rafe Rovers previously. Snapped him up for a very nominal fee. Hibbs haven't missed him that much, though. Dougie Johnston's clearance onto the head of Ramon Vega. Johnston is there again. Now McDonald looking to release Walker. Tom Boyd is with him. An um, important touch. I see once again the way the mobility of uh, Paul Walker down the left hand side. Both of these from Rath players, quick feet, mobile. And if they get enough service, they'll, they'll ask a few questions of Celtic. Well, they get a free kick for Thompson pulling the shirt <laughs> of uh, <laughs> Duncan George, in fact, ripping the shirt of Duncan George. Too early to swap shirts. It's a free kick which will be taken by Johnston. Too high for Knox. Jenkins leaves it for George. McDonald. Strand Ryan do like to play football the way it should be played. Manager has strong philosophies on that front. And they'll be delighted, really, that they haven't conceded an early goal because that's always the fear for the lower league sides when they come up against the old firm. Sometimes it can lead to a goals galore. They also had a very good chance, of course, themselves. 
Yeah, it was a good break down the left-hand side. Volharan did well to come across here. Otherwise, Walker was in on, on Rob Douglas. And that's the one thing that Jos Volharan gives Celtic. He is so quick, he gives him that little bit of insurance at the back. Volharan actually was a cup winner last season from Holland with Rhoda. Jenkins putting himself about. But he didn't need to do so quite so much because he has the free kick anyway. Straight right, looking to give Celtic something to worry about, failing to do so that time, but hanging in there at the moment. Jackie McNamara blocked Duncan George's clearance and he can now get a new shirt having had the other one ripped off. Did he a gap? Henrik Larsson took a bit of a bobble that. Fraser Wright. That's a daft one because Henry Larson was going nowhere there, Ian. And it gives uh, Celtic a chance to, to throw a ball into the back post. Well, Harris going forward, as has Vega. Alan Thompson flipped on by Valharan. Could be a break on here for Blair. Petter tracking him. And Celtic's throw. They last met in the Scottish Cup 13 years ago this week. Celtic edged it 1-0. McAvenny got the goal, but it could have been so different. Stran Ryers, Bruce Clennon missed a penalty and a sitter late on. And then he immigrated to Australia the week after, not through shame, he was, had planned to go anyway. Hodge helps it on. Harty gives it back to George. McDonald's touch has actually let in Chris Sutton. Now Neil Lennon. Jackie McNamara, a gap racing down the line, but far too much on it from McNamara. I don't think Martin was too impressed with that. Oh, what he will know already, though, Ian, that uh, Celtic are going to have to work for anything they get tonight. So now I've started with a good tempo here. And as you would expect from any side that plays for this man, they've competed for everything so far. They've hassled and they've harried. Lee McLaren works as a senior inspector for Her Majesty's Taxes. I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> Here's Boyd. <laughs> Donald. Back to Johnston. Ramon Vega. Away by Keith Knox. Alan Thompson has picked it up. Jenkins is down at the moment for Stran Raya, but Celtic don't mind. They're on the attack. Jenkins just getting back to his feet there. I think that'll be a free kick for a foul by Bobby Petter, despite his best innocent look. George take it out. Knocks his free kick. Aim towards Harty, cut out by Valharan. Stran Riot still could give it a go here. Harty has done very, very well to lose Petter. Now here's Blair. 
and his cross dug out by Vega. Uh, Ian Hart did that so well down the right-hand side there. Good footwork and a decent ball in as well. You get impressions from Ross' confidence, they're starting to grow now, starting to enjoy this. Fraser right, blocked that, but Didier Agat slid in. Now Larson. Agat, oh, not a bad return. Vega. Lennon. Thompson. Up to Sutton. Thompson again. Fouled by McDonald. That's going to be the free kick. He's a fierce character, Billy McDonald. Yeah, Alan Thompson. I think since Neil Lennon arrived at Celtic and he's far more inclined now to go forward. Doesn't have to worry about looking over his shoulder and as to what he's leaving behind. And Celtic, I think we'll get far more out of Alan Thompson now that uh, Neil Lennon's around. It's Lennon to whip this in, and Ramon Vegas on the end of it! And it's bundled in by Valhalla, and Celtic go 1-0 up. Uh, once again, it's the aerial ability of Vega here. That proves costly for Sonar. Once again, they don't have a choice here. They have to defend that deep. Great ball across the face of the goal by Vega. And Valharan brave enough to stick his head in where he knows it's going to get kicked here. And I think he does take a sore one. Good ball in. Vega at his very best at the back post. Ross Valharan so effective at the back for Celtic this season. And often quite effective up the front as well. That's his ball for the season, the big Belgian. starting to get a foothold really they fall behind free kick will be taken by Ramon Vega started to go quite well for Stran Ryan until this happened. Yeah, they have to defend this on top of the goalkeeper, such as the position of the free kick. And Vega does well, but Valharan reacts quickly at the back post. He's already on his way. He sees Vega's going to win it. And his reaction was crucial there, getting himself into the back post area. And I don't mind about the sole one he took. Well worth it. Lennon. Stan Ryan have really got to keep their concentration now. Heta. It's going to go behind for a Celtic corner. Indeed, Heta really has reveled under the management of Martin O'Neill. Didn't get much of a look in last season. corner and then Rick Larson has flicked it and it's gone just wide but Stair Park held its breath then. Yeah just found half a yard there Henrik Larson just steps off his marker there doesn't quite get enough on the shot. We can't afford to give Larson any room at all in that kind of area. Paul Walker chasing this but Tom Boyd Covering for Celtic. Oops, we've got two balls on that. Ironic, really, that Stran Raya were gaining so much confidence in the period before Celtic scored. Larson. McNamara's cross. 
aimed towards Sutton, but steered away by Knox. Lennon. Agat. Ramon Vega. Who can claim an assist with the goal. Henrik Larsson. Always going wide that time, though, from the Swede, who has scored 32 times this season. Yeah, Chris Sutton is very best here. Look at the way he screens this. Cushioned layoff, sits up perfectly for Larsson. Can't find the target, but it's the, the Celtic strikers at the very best there. Sutton and Larsson combining, but it was two defenders, Vega and Valharan, who combined for the goal that has given Celtic the lead here at Stair Park. The fourth round draw coming up later, right here, remember. Petter will get a free kick. Foul by Blair. Stan Rao have had the stuffing knocked out of them a little bit. Neil Lennon's free kick. And Larson on the end of it. I think it was a good take from Mark McGeehan. A terrific ball in from Neil Lennon there. Whipped in there to a good area. Once again, Larson found just half a yard there to get ahead of him. Lennon. Sutton. Jenkins. Who is one of only two players in the Stranra squad actually based in the town. Keith knocks the other, Petter. And a foul by Knox is going to bring the yellow, first yellow card of the game shown to Keith Knox. Yeah, Alan Thompson up on his feet quickly, ready to go on with the game there, but certainly taken well late there. Looking for Knox, he has to tread carefully. A free kick for Celtic. Alan Thompson takes this one. Oh, a missed kick from Jenkins. And Ramon Vega trying to get in. The challenge by Wright, though. Ramon Vega in the hunt for goals. Scored twice on his debut against Aberdeen. The former Tottenham man. Haran, scorer of Celtic's goal. Keith knocks his clearance towards Blair, who did well. Now McDonald. Thompson. Henrik Larsson has scored nine in his last four games. McNamara. To Sutton. Oops. Lennon missed it, but Ramon Vega retrieved it. Boyd. A gat. Johnston sends it back to his keeper. Vega. Celtic warmed up for this cup tie with a testimonial in the week at Norwich, which they won 4-2 after being 2-0 down. Testimonial for the Norwich physio, Tim Shepherd, And uh, apparently only 5,000 Celtic fans turned up for that one. <laughs> Didier Gatt. Centre. Oh, it's only gone as far as Henrik Larsson, who tees it up now for Jackie McNamara. Thompson. Petter. Petter finding no way past Paul Blair. And the throw-in has actually gone in Blair's favour too. Well, there's a feast of Scottish football for you this week. Next up, Tuesday at 7 on Sky Sports 1. Two of the teams who've been trying their best to keep up with the old firm. And even more than that, it's Kilmarnock against Hibbs. 
flag is up for offside. Earns kick aimed towards Harty away by Valharan offside against Walker. Yeah, Celtic shading in terms of, of possession, but uh, you really get the impression that Celtic have the game by the throat now. They're dictating the, the tempo, so I really can't get on the ball at all. Celtic actually seeking their seventh win on the spin. They've only conceded two goals in their last seven matches. McNamara. Goal kick. so far and it came after a really good spell for the second division side you had a chance through this man Paul Walker and when you get a chance against Celtic you do have to take you might get another chance here though just went the wrong side of Walker as Billy McDonald tried to return it Alan Thompson No Stylian Petrov for Celtic tonight. He's on international duty with Bulgaria. He's been one of their most consistent performers. This man's not been too bad, Larson, although actually perhaps not up to his standards of previous seasons. Mind you, he has got 32 goals. Neil Lennon. Thompson looking to return it to Petter. It was picked away by Duncan George. Ten minutes of the first half remaining. Celtic were allocated almost 3,000 tickets for this game. Needless to say, they were all used. Lennon whipped it in towards Sutton. Thompson, he charged it down, but it'll be scooped up by Mark McGeehan. Not that one, two with Alan Thompson. Sign from Aston Villa. Duncan George crashed into Neil Lennon, who certainly had something to say about that. Yeah, he's taking a sore one. Neil Lennon becoming more and more important to the Celtic side, doing. And of course, in the absence of Paul Lambert, who was out injured, and he's, he's given that back three tremendous amount of protection. And he allows the likes of Thompson and Stylian Petrov when he's around to get forward. Agat. Larson. Free kick given against the Swede. 